Hi everyone, I am Sherni Joyce Bautista and today we are going to talk about present tense. First, let us look through present participle. Present participle of most verbs has the form base plus ing and it is used in many different ways. Now, let us look at some example of present participle as part of the continuous form of verb. I am working. He was singing. They have been walking. We will be staying. She would have been expecting me. Present participle is also used after the verbs of movement and position. This construction is particularly useful with the verb to go. For example, she went shopping. I go running every morning. He lay looking up at the clouds. She came running towards me. It is also used after verbs of perception. The pattern for this usage is verb plus object plus present participle. Take note that there is a difference in meaning when such a sentence contains a zero infinitive rather than a participle. The infinitive refers to a complete action while the present participle refers to an ongoing action. For example, I heard someone singing. He saw his friends walking along the road. I can smell something burning. I watched the birds flying away. Now let us look through present participle as an adjective. Here are some examples. It was an amazing film. The word amazing is an adjective. Dark billowing clouds often precede a storm. Billowing is an adjective. He was trapped inside the burning house. Burning is an adjective. Many of his paintings show the setting sun. The word setting is the adjective. Present participle is also used with verbs spend and wait. The pattern with these verbs is verb plus time or money expression and present participle. So for examples, we will be using highlights. Yellow indicates verb, green indicates time or money expression, and the blue indicates present participle. For example, my boss spends two hours a day traveling to work. The verb here is spend. Two hours a day is time, and traveling is the present participle. Next example, we have don't waste time playing computer games. Waste is the verb. Time is the time. And playing, playing is present participle. Next example, we have they spent the whole day shopping. The word spent is the verb. The whole day is time and shopping is the present participle next example i wasted money buying this game wasted is the verb money is money expression and buying is the present participle Present participle is also used to explain a reason. The present participle can be used instead of a phrase starting with 
as, since, or because. In this usage, the participial phrase explains the cause or reason for an action. For example, feeling hungry, he went into the kitchen and opened the fridge. The reason why he went into the kitchen and opened the fridge is because he was or she was hungry. Being poor, he didn't spend much on clothes. Now, the cause of why he didn't spend much on clothes is because he was poor. Knowing that his mother was coming, he cleaned the flat. The reason why he cleaned the flat is because his mother was coming. Next, he whispered thinking his brother was still asleep. The reason why he whispered is because he was thinking that his brother is still sleeping. Simple present is used to describe habits, unchanging situations, general truths, and fixed arrangements. Here are some examples of simple present tense for habits. He drinks tea at breakfast. Drinks is simple present tense. She only eats fish. It is the verb. They watch television regularly. Watch is the verb. It is also used to describe repeated actions or events. For example, we catch the bus every morning. It rains every afternoon in the hot season. They drive to Monaco every summer. For general truths, here are some examples. Water freezes at zero degrees. The earth revolves around the sun. Her mother is Peruvian. It is also used for instructions or direction. For example, open the packet and pour the contents into hot water. You take the number 6 bus to Watney and then the 10 to Bedford. It is also used for fixed arrangement, like his mother arrives tomorrow. Our holiday starts on the 26th of March. It is also used with future constructions. For example, she'll see you before she leaves. We'll give it to her when she arrives. Take note that in third person, singular verb always ends in S. For example, he wants, she needs, he gives, she thinks. In negative and question form, use does plus infinitive of the verb. Does is the third person of the auxiliary do. For example, does he want strawberry? Now that is in the question form. And for the negative form, the example is, he does not want vanilla. If the verb ends in Y and it is in the form of third person, the Y will be changed to IES, but there is always an exemption. If there is a vowel before Y, just add S at the end. Remember to add ES to verb ending in SS, X, SH, or CH. For example, he passes, she catches, he fixes. It pushes, and these are applied in third person singular. For example, he goes to school every morning. 
she understands English. It mixes the sand and the water. He tries very hard. She enjoys playing the piano. Present continuous of any verb is composed of two parts. The present tense of the verb to be and present participle of the main verb. The form of present participle is base plus ing. For example, talking, playing, moving, smiling. Let's take a look at this table as example. In affirmative, the subject is she and the verb to be is it. And we have the base talk plus ing and it will be talking. Now in negative form, the subject she and the verb is, verb to be is is plus not, so it will be is not. And base plus ing, talking. In interrogative, we have to be as is plus subject as she and base plus ing, talking. So it will be in the question form is she talking. Now here are the functions of present continuous. Present continuous is used to describe an action that is going on at this moment. For example, you are using the internet. You are studying English grammar. So you are using or you are studying is an action that is going on at this moment. It is also used to describe an action that is going on during this period of time or a thread. For example, are you still working for the same company? Are you still working is an action that is going on during this period of time. Another example, more and more people are becoming vegetarian. Becoming is an action that is going on and it is becoming a trend. It is also used to describe an action or event in the future which has already have been planned or prepared. For example, we're going on holiday tomorrow. We're going is an action that is already planned. Another example, I'm meeting my boyfriend tonight. I'm meeting is an action that is planned that will be happening tonight. Another example, are they visiting you next winter? So are they visiting is um, an action that is being prepared for the next winter. It is also used to describe a temporary event or situation. For example, he usually plays the drums but he's playing bass guitar tonight. Another example is, the weather forecast was good, but it's raining at the moment. Be careful because there are some verbs that are not usually used in the continuous form. Normally, it is used in simple form because it refers to state rather than actions or process. For example, Senses or perception, like to feel, to hear, to see, to smell, to taste. We also have mental states, like to forget, to imagine, to know, to mean, 
to notice, to recognize, to remember, to understand. We also have the emotion or desire that is to envy, to fear, to dislike, to hate, to hope, to like, to love, to mind, to prefer, to regret, to want, to wish. It is also not used. Measurement is also not used. Such as to contain, to cause, to hold, to measure, to weigh, and other forms such as to look, to resemble, um, to seem, to be in most cases, and to have when it means to possess. So, there are perception verbs. that are often used with can. These verbs may be used in continuous form but with different meaning. For example, this coat feels nice and warm. Your perception of coat's quality. So, another example is John's feeling much better now. So, it means that his health is improving. And another example is she has three dogs and a cat. So, has is a possession. And she having sup supper. It means she's eating. And the other example is, I can see an Anthony in the garden. It means perception. And the last example, I'm seeing Anthony later. So, it means that they are planning. Present perfect is used to indicate a link between present and the past. The time of the action is before now but not specified. And we are often more interested in the result than the action itself. Present perfect is used to describe actions started in the past and continuing in the present. For example, they haven't lived here for years, so it means that they are not living there until now. Another example is, she has worked in the bank for five years, so, so she has been working in the bank five years and currently working in the bank. Another example we have. We have had the same car for 10 years, so their car is there for 10 years and they are still using it right now. And for the last example, we have, have you played the piano since you were a child? So it means that um, the person asking asks if she is playing piano since she was a child until now because currently right now she knows how to play piano and present perfect is also used to describe when the time period referred to has not finished for example for example i have worked hard this week so she's been working hard this week and another example it has rained a lot this year so this year has been raining a lot and the other example is we haven't seen her for today so today is not yet done and we haven't seen her it is also used to describe actions with Seated in an unspecified period between the past and now. For example, they have seen the film six times. So, in the past, they have seen it for six times and currently seeing that film. Another example is, it has happened several times already. So, it happened in the past and 
currently is still happening. Another example is she has visited them frequently. So, she's been visiting them in the past and right now, she frequently visits them. And another example is we have eaten at the restaurant many times. So, in the past, they are eating in that restaurant and right now, they are also eating in that restaurant. Present perfect is also used to describe actions completed in very recent past. So, we just need to add just in a sentence. For example, have you just finished the work? I have just eaten. We have just seen her. Has he just left? Present perfect is also used to describe when the Prestige time of action is not important or not known. For example, someone has eaten my soup. Another example is, have you seen gone with the wind? And the last example, she's studied Japanese, Russian, and English. Present continuous is used to refer as unspecified time between before, now, and now. So these are actions started in the past and continue in the present. For example, she has been waiting for you all day. So since the beginning of the day until now, she is waiting. Another example is I've been working on this report since 8 o'clock in the morning. It means that since 8 o'clock, she has been working on that report up until now. Another example is they have been traveling since last October. So since last October, they were traveling and currently traveling. Present perfect continuous is also used to describe actions that have just finished. But we are interested in the salt. For example, she has been cooking since last night. It's been raining. Someone's been eating my chip. There are also birds without continuous forms, such as I've wanted to visit China for years. She's known Robert since she was a child. I've hated that mu music since I first heard it. I've heard a lot about you recently and we've understood everything. So to end this presentation, I just want to leave you a quote. It says, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift of God, which is why we call it present. So these are the references I have gathered for the preparation of this presentation, you may visit it at www.ef.com. They have a lot of resources about English grammar.